how are we all? I hope you are all well. Welcome back to a brand new video and today I am recreating five Instagram outfits that I just, I can't get out of my head. Like I have to find a way to recreate these outfits. I went through the save section on my Instagram, found my five favourites like from the last couple of weeks and yeah, I'm just a bit obsessed. Like I think this is such a good idea to do like at least once a season because it kind of just, it like reinvigorates your love for your wardrobe. You might find some new outfit formulas that you hadn't found before, like some new ways to wear some old pieces. It's such a good way of flexing that like creativity muscle when it comes to your wardrobe that I'm always going on about. So I hope you enjoy this video. I have five outfits to show you that I adore, five recreations of them, and also something a little special. Oh yes, you guys have been asking for it and it is finally, finally here. A miss them a discount code, woo! <laughs> This video is sponsored by Missima and I'm here to tell you that they have 25% off across the site. It is very, very exciting. This like never, never happens. It's big news. Every single piece they make is included in this offer. And all you need to do is use my code. I have a code. A-N-25. A Newton 25. There you go. That'll get you 25% off wherever you are in the world, whatever you want what a deal. So whether you're having like a treat yourself moment or you're forward planning and you're thinking of buying it as a gift or you want it as a gift and you just need to send like a little hint to your significant other, now is the time to make your purchase. So throughout the video I'm going to be showing you how I combine Missima pieces into all of these outfits, talk you through some of my favourites. Missima have actually created a page on their website with all of my favourites so if you're interested on the pieces that I own, that I wear the most, I'll make sure that's like up high in the description box if you want to check that out. Um, but yeah, that has my top 15 pieces including all of the pieces that I'm wearing today and all the pieces that I wear all the darn time. And if you want to do a good deed of the day whilst picking yourself up something special, um, Missma are actually working with Tree Sisters once again for this Black Friday period and for every order that is made they will plant one tree across the tropical forest belt which is very cool. Nice one Missima. So remember to use the code AN25, A for Anna, M for Newton, 25 um, across the website to get 25% off of your order for this Black Friday. Awesome and everything that I show you in this video will be linked down below along with that like top 15 items as well. So all that is there, that will be down there. Let's down there. <laughs> down there, I was just pointing down there. <laughs> in the description box, you know what I mean. Um, but onto these five outfits I am very excited to talk about. So outfit number one comes from Brittany Bathgate. Love a bit of Brittany Bathgate style. Very cool, very chic very like androgynous Scandi style and always in like a neutral colour palette, like I am all over that. And I saw this, it was actually regrammed by Who What Wear UK and I was just like that looks like a very just comfortable, practical outfit, like it's kind of chic that you could wear it out in the evening but you could also wear it to do your weekly food shop, you know what I mean? It's just one of those like classically cool modern outfits. So I unfortunately don't have a black blazer but I do have a black coat so you'll be seeing how I'm kind of subbing in something that is similar-ish but not exactly the same but still getting the same overall vibe. I love how she's done like the sweater over the shoulder. Again very cool. I don't have a little black bag like that but I do have a navy one. I have similar-ish uh, jeans and then I've got a pair of winter boots I just absolutely adore. So I was like although I can't replicate this outfit exactly I can definitely get a similar vibe hopefully. So this is my recreation of outfit number one and I love this. I think this is such a cool outfit and I love how I've like never done the the jumper round, round the shoulder type thing but it's kind of great because it's a bit like having a scarf, you've got a bit of extra warmth going on up there and then also it means you could wear like a thinner sort of top or knit underneath and then once you get to your like desired location you can whip off your coat and then you've got a jumper like ready to go. I I just love it. I just think it's a really nice way of accessorising and like using jumpers in your wardrobe in a slightly like different way. I've actually paired this outfit with a different hoop to what I was wearing in the sit down clips. This is the gold helical hoop. Um, they're just like a diddy little huggy and this is the one Missima piece that I wear the most often. Um, I wear these 
all the time I don't take them out unless I'm wearing other earrings um, just as more of like a statement piece but day to day I wear these I don't take them out when I have them on I just keep whoa whoa so sunny I just keep them in um, and they're very simple and I felt like something with this outfit you need just like a very simple versatile piece outfit number two um, actually comes from Coco Bow Tea and I saw this on Nordic Style Report like I adore Nordic Star Report is so freaking cool. There's always like, there's also like a French girl one that I follow. I'll link them both down below for you. Um, but really cool, like regram accounts. So you kind of, you don't know what you're getting. You're getting a bit of everything on there. And you might find some new people um, who style that you really enjoy. So that would be another little top tip for you. And this one I really enjoyed. I'm really enjoying this like, under the shoulder bag and this is where the Loewe puzzle is just one of the best things I've ever purchased despite being the most expensive thing I've ever purchased because you can sort of manipulate it into really different bags like it can look more like a clutch it can look more like a just across the shoulder bag it can look very casual or you can make the strap really short and wear it under your arm like this so I think this is a your bag maybe um, but yeah I'm gonna rejig my lower way around so it goes under my arm also I don't have that exact coat but I have a vintage trench coat that I bought recently and I felt like that would give a similar sort of look and again with the jeans I've actually got the Gucci loafers so that's kind of like an exact replica and then I love that like black I don't know if she's wearing like a turtleneck or just like a cashmere jumper or just like a thin knit um, but I love that she's got like the necklace over the top just like one necklace over the top it's not so like Mr. T looking just like very chic very simple I love this look I mean the shades on as well you're ready for anything so I really do look like a real life inspector gadget in this outfit <laughs> but I like it I like it with these I've got the Gucci loafers um big shout out to Mark who uh polished them up recently and they honestly look brand new thank you <laughs> and then I've got it on with my redone jeans um this is the equipment jumper from the last outfit and then this is from retold vintage and it's a 1970s trench coat I love the details on it it's got like kind of these puffy sleeves with these wrap ties on and then I've also got my Loewe bag again shortened so it sits slightly more like under the armpit. In the photo Coco actually has quite a chunky bracelet on so I thought I would get the Missima. This is the, uh, the one they did with Lucy Williams for the 1987 collection. This is the flat curb uh, gold bracelet. It's one of my faves. It's probably my most worn bracelet just because it's very simple. It comes in a necklace and an anklet as well, but I really love the bracelet form and wow, I really need to clean my mirror. I'll do that before, uh, before we do the next cutaway. The third outfit comes from Kim and she is Love Cloth Blog on Instagram. I don't know why, I always struggle with that, but I love Kim's stuff. I really like her Pinterest page, actually. Um, I found it because I, I pin these days. I'm getting really into Pinterest. If you want to check me out on there, it'll be linked down below for you in the description box. Um, but yeah, she has a very cool Pinterest. Love her aesthetic. Love how she sort of, she has a vision and I, I'm really a buy into the vision. And this outfit, I just was like, yes, that is such a like, cool outfit to wear for like an evening out sort of that looks a bit like school uniform but isn't school uniform because you're wearing leather trousers and i do have leather trousers i've i've definitely got something that can dupe that quite easily i have my oversized and other stories and um, my big kind of stiff cotton shirt um and then i also have sandals that are kind of a little bit similar to that so i had i had all of this like ready to go and i always love to like kind of dress up and take photos in more like dressy combinations because then next time there's like an evening event or I'm going out for dinner or at someone's party and it's more of like a okay I can't just wear like my blue jeans and a top situation I've got a bit of like inspiration I, I have like a little catalogue that I can flick through and this will definitely be one of those like outfit formulas that I could wear to like any evening thing. This outfit is basically like a riff of things that I have worn many times before but kind of slightly updated and also definitely more of like an eveningy piece for me but I I love this outfit I feel really comfortable in this outfit I would happily happily wear this one like time and time again evenings out there you go this is what I'm wearing sorted um so I've got the and other stories oversized white shirt that I wear spring summer autumn winter the whole year round I really do it's such a brilliant versatile piece to have in your wardrobe then I've got the by far strappy sandals I have these in black I have them in nude I have them in red I have one pair of leopard print heels and that's 
all the heels that I own. That's all the heels you need to own, um, but they're very, very comfortable. And then on the bottom half, these are Under the Stories leather trousers. They are perfection. They are the best leather trousers I've ever, ever, ever owned. They're lined, which is great. It makes them really, really comfortable. They've got a slight kick flare to them and um, which I just think is very very flattering um, and yeah they just fit really nicely like I can sit down in them very comfortably um, yeah I just adore them whenever I wear them people are like where are they from where are they from so and other stories they'll be linked down below for you and then for this outfit I thought I would do a nice little chain situation this is the gold bobble choker I have it on the loosest one just so it's kind of more like a super short necklace and then underneath this is the Lucy Williams and Missima this is the snake chain I love it it's the perfect thickness and it's like a little bit eye-catching but still kind of dainty I think that looks really nice when you've got a shirt on it's a little bit open it's nice to have a bit of a you know chain yeah chain layering. Now I have made similar videos to this before and it wouldn't be like one of these recreating outfits videos without a Lizzie Hadfield outfit shot from the street. I love her style, I adore her style. There is never an outfit that she puts up and I don't like and she's been doing this a lot recently where she wears like the oversized cotton very like big and baggy shirt with like a sort of big and baggy knit over the top not tucked in just all very like loose with some nice like straight leg more fitted jeans and then um here she's wearing loafers and socks controversial i'm gonna give it a go let's like see how it looks um but i feel like you could also wear this with, like a chunky winter boot as well and again she's just got that like dainty necklace going on a nice like under the armpit bag um, yeah, I just think this whole vibe, again, that like casual but elevated. It's like I woke up like this minimal like glossier style makeup, but the outfit version um, and I'm, I'm here for it. Lizzie's back at it again with like the absolutely brilliant style inspiration. Um, I love this look. It feels very like college preppy cool um i will admit that i did try it with the socks and like i know my limits like i am not cool enough for wearing this outfit with the socks without the socks was definitely a, uh, a better look on me but i've got the gucci loafers on again these are the redone high-rise stovepipe jeans i was wearing them in blue earlier in the video but now i'm just wearing the black pair that i have this is the and other stories oversized shirt once again just underneath this and other stories this is like a bottle green kind of slightly oversized um cashmere knit they actually still have it in stock this year i think i got it last year but they still got it it's brilliant just such a nice nice like well fitting piece and then i just got the lower they bag once again and then like lizzie i'm wearing this with a little like pendant necklace so this is from missima and this is the mini cameo necklace um probably like my most worn necklace of the summer it just sits at a really nice height on me and i like that it's got like a little dangly bit but it's very small and dainty and like not chewing your face so definitely one of my favorite pieces but i really like it i feel like this has inspired me not to necessarily feel the need to tuck like every item of clothing that i wear actually it's quite nice to like have it, have, have it untucked sometime, you know? The final outfit comes from Lindsay. Good old Linz from Ropes of Holland, again, up there with Lizzie. Her and Lizzie are just also ultimate babes. They're really, really, really lovely people. Um, so I'm all for like supporting them. I adore them as people, but I obviously adore their style as well. Um, she takes really cool photos in her new home. I'm like, oh, feeling the interiors. I'm feeling her style. Um, but she has really great style like across the year. I really love what she wears in the summer, but I adore what she wears in kind of the autumn, winter months too. And this is an outfit where I definitely don't have the specific kind of dupable items in my wardrobe, but I thought it'd be a good one to show you because you can definitely get a similar vibe. And sometimes it's just about getting a similar silhouette or like a similar color palette but the pieces aren't exactly like not here for copying you're just here to like emulate these outfits that you really enjoy and it's all about like not necessarily buying new clothing pieces all the time as well so although i don't have a gray shirt i have a black shirt and it's oversized i do have white um, my wide leg jeans i thought this could work really well with it and then i don't have that like really cool western like 
funky shoe situation going on, but I do have kind of cowboy style boots that are in a similar vein. I think this is what Lindsay does really well actually. She has a very like simple outfit on, but then like the bag will be really like unusual, like an unusual colour or texture. And she does the same thing with her shoes as well. Like it's all very simple, like clean lines, and then like these shoes are really cool. Um, and I, I love how she does that. I love how she plays around with pieces like that. So this is my take on Lindsay's outfit. So like I said, I don't have the funky shoes like she has, but I do have these Ganny mock croc boots, which are kind of funky in a similar shape. And I wear them so much. Um, I just feel like they're a really like elevating piece that like take, I just keep doing that. Sorry, I just keep doing that. I just love them. Um, but yeah, they really like take an outfit to the next level. Then I've got on these Kate uh, wide leg jeans. They're quite thin, so I wear them a lot in the summer, but I do like a cream jean in the winter too. And then I've got this Arquette oversized black cotton shirt. It's basically the black version of the white shirt that I was wearing earlier. I picked this up in my autumn capture wardrobe haul. I will link that up. Oh, what way is it? That way. Do, 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 do. It'll be up there for you. Um, so again, this is just a very casual, easy to wear outfit that could work for lots of different things. Meetings, dress down day on a Friday, also just like the weekend, you're going out with friends, you want to wear something a little bit different. And because it's such a simple outfit, it just works really nicely with all of the Missima pieces. Um, I'm just wearing like all the bits that you've seen before. The simple helical earrings, my snake chain, I've got on the gold bubble choker and then also the flat curb bracelet. Um, but yeah, I think this outfit would actually look really, really nice with the black uh, by far strappy sandals. Oh, taking it to the next level. And those are the five outfits. I adore them all, if you couldn't already tell. I'll make sure that everyone's Instagrams are linked down below for you. Really good places, really good like pools of inspiration, so definitely worth following them all. Everything that I've worn clothing-wise will be linked in the description box down below, as well as all of the Missima pieces. And like I said, use my code AN25 for 25% off. Site-wide, wherever you are in the world. Oh, FYI, free next day delivery in the UK. Free delivery if you live in the US and really fast shipping everywhere else as well. So you're not even gonna have to wait that long to get your hands on these pieces. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much to Missima for sponsoring this video and I'll see you soon, bye.